Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and another core quality that you want to anchor in uh, your relationship. Of course, it is respect. You want to respect each other. You don't want to be abusing each other. So, of course, when you feel respected, what happens in your field is like you feel relaxed, you feel seen, you feel like you can go on with your life and do the things that you need to do without having to watch your back and being in defense mode all the time. So respect comes in so many ways, but basically it comes in the form of respecting somebody's space, for instance, respecting, respecting somebody's opinions. You know, for instance, if you have an opinion on something and your partner disagrees with you, you can attack your partner you know, emotionally, energetically push, put them under pressure, you know, bully them into, into thinking the same as you. Or you can be like, you know what, it looks like we disagree and it's okay, I still respect you. I respect your opinions, I respect your choices, I respect your time frame, I respect your eating habits, I respect your, your connections with your friends, I respect your job, or I respect all of that. So respect means that there is something that feels a little bit like hands off. Okay, this is your life. I respect your choice. I respect who you are. I respect your past. I respect your future. I respect your dreams. And especially, I respect you as a human being. Respect means that you're not going to be attacking that person. You're not going to be energetically, physically, emotionally abusing them. So try to remember a moment in your relationships where you haven't been respected, okay? How does that feel? It hurts, it sucks. It's not something that you want to be exposed to on a daily basis. Every now and then there might be a respect breach, okay? A respect gap, a moment where you cross the line, you start maybe getting a bit too loud, insulting or emotionally pressurizing uh, your, your partner, putting them under, you know, under demand, under control pattern or something like that. And, uh, but the moment you see that happening or the moment you see that happening to you, you can go like, you know what, pause right now, I'm no longer respecting you and this is not okay. If you want to create a deep connection and bonding experience with somebody, you know, it's okay to sometimes have fights, it's okay to sometimes dive into shadows, but not as a default pattern. The default pattern is, I respect you, I honor you. Anchor that in your relationship.